Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is another in a series of solution videos to some of my math challenges. The math challenge for this solution video is my geometry logo challenge. Here is how I presented that challenge in the original video. The math club at the local high school designed for itself a logo like this. You have an outer circle, within that a square, then an inner circle, and within that an equilateral triangle, meaning a triangle with all three sides the same length. Suppose the diameter of the outer circle is exactly 18 centimeters. Your challenge is find the exact length of one side of the triangle. I know of more than one way to solve this challenge. Here's one solution. I have shown the diameter 18 of the outer circle diagonally in red. It is the hypotenuse of a right triangle with the other two sides being sides of the square. This is a special right triangle of geometry, a, an isosceles right triangle. The relationship of the sides is that when you have the hypotenuse, to get either leg you divide the hypotenuse by the square root of 2. And so one side of the square is 18 over or divided by the square root of 2. If you're not familiar with those relationships, you can work that out by the Pythagorean equation. Since both legs are the same, I call them both a. a squared plus a squared equals 18 squared. That's 2a squared equals 18 squared. Dividing both sides by 2, a squared equals 18 squared over 2. And taking the square root of both sides, a equals 18 divided by or over the square root of 2. Now that 18 divided by the square root of 2 is the diameter of the inner circle. And so the radius of the inner circle, which I have shown here vertically, is half of 18 over root 2. That's 9 over root 2. This vertical radius splits the top angle of the triangle in half. The entire angle is 60 degrees. That makes half of it 30 degrees. And so we have this shaded triangle which is the other special right triangle of geometry, a 30-60 degree right triangle. And the relationships of the sides there are, you take the hypotenuse and divide it by 2 to get the shorter leg, which is this, and so this shorter leg is 9 over 2 root 2. So that's the length of this shorter leg of the shaded triangle, 9 over 2 root 2. To get the longer leg, we multiply that by the square root of 3. That's what you do in a 30-60 right triangle. So that will be 9 root 3 over 2 root 2. So that's this length. 9 root 3 over 2 root 2. That is half of one side of the triangle. So to get the full side of the triangle, we double it, which simply removes this denominator 2, giving us 9 root 3 over root 2. And so that is a good solution to the challenge. One side of the triangle equals 9 root 3 over root 2. There is another way to express the answer that is a little simpler, getting rid of the root sign in the denominator. The way we do that is to multiply this fraction by 1, which does not change its value, but we write 1 in a special way as the square root of 2 over the square root of 2. 
Multiplying across the top and across the bottom gives this version of the solution. 9 root 6 divided by 2. This exact value could also be given as 4 and 5 tenths times the square root of 6. So there you have my solution to my geometry logo challenge. Thank you for watching this solution video.